13 and a half years ago, the last time I ran a 5K, I didn't know it, but I had a tumor in my chest, basically the size of a football. And I barely made it through the race. I was struggling the whole way. And it was a few months after the race, they found, that, they found the tumor in my chest. Nobody thought that I'd even live another two weeks when they found the cancer. And for the first 10 years, my body just kept declining, declining, declining. It wasn't until I made it to Henry Ford and got the LVAD where it started giving me some real hope that I can actually do things physically that I hadn't been able to do for over a decade. I always kind of look back on that last race and, and thought to myself, it would really be sure nice to be able to do another one. It means a lot to me to see my dad run this race today because I've seen him struggle for so many years and now he's finally overcome all that he's been through. It's taken literally three years to get to this point. Rebuilding a body that was completely ruined. I was in a wheelchair and I couldn't walk for six, eight months. I was on a ventilator. It, it, nobody thought I'd make it. When I was at Henry Ford Hospital and I, after I had my LVAD surgery, the doctors and the nurses, they were fighting to keep me alive minute by minute. I mean, then, then it turned from minute by minute to hour by hour and then day by day. They never gave up on me. They, they, they never stopped fighting. I've really spent the last three years training for this moment. Crossing the finish line, it was very emotional. I could barely keep it together. I've grown up seeing my dad struggle and I'm just glad that he can be happy now and not have to worry as much about his health and be able to do the things he likes to do. I am extremely thankful for all the, the love and the support I've gotten from everyone in Henry Ford Hospital. I'm standing here really because of them and, and, and my beautiful family.